for the opening up of the history is a way of trying to address the questions of the life of the past in the present. So the problem, of course, about having statues to slave traders and plantation owners is that the system of slavery and of racial injustice, which they introduced, has lived on. And it is so vivid still in the present. In the, the case that's brought so much attention to this question, the removal of the statue of Edward Colston, who was an active slave trader in Bristol. The statue was pushed into the very docks where the slave ships had been moored. But that statue has been argued over for years, from the 1960s, really. And that was connected with uh, Afro-Caribbean and South Asian people coming into Britain in the post-war period and settling and becoming part of established communities. So one of the arguments was that there should be a new plaque which would specify uh, his involvement as a slave trader. But that was opposed for a long time. And even last year, in a way, that's why, you know, finally, people are so angry about it that it's actually removed. The killing of George Floyd has just, I mean, it's caused an eruption here which nobody could have predicted that it was going to happen at this moment. And the toppling of the statue is just like an ending of this long history. Ships which were setting out for Africa in order to take captives were going from the main London docks. And the West India merchants wanted their own separate docks. So Milligan was a key figure in raising the money and organizing the company which established the West India Dock. Unlike Colston, that was actually a statue set up at the time. That became a really problematic symbol. Uh, I was part of a group actually that was commissioned to plan a new permanent gallery in the Museum of London in Dockland, centered on the story of London, sugar and slavery. So when that exhibition was opened, the statue of Milligan was actually covered, but then, the exhibition has remained, but the statue was uncovered. So there again, there's been you know, a long history of people objecting to that statue. You know, you don't erase it if you speak the truth about what they are. So if Nelson's column had a large plaque explaining that Nelson was a pro-slaver and a deeply reactionary man, um, as well as an admiral who, who successfully fought the French. It, it, it gives a different meaning to the statue. The people that put up statues don't intend them to be complicated. They don't want to recognize the difficult bits of those histories. They're, to, they're there to celebrate with and to attempt to fix a version of history that will stay settled in people's minds.